Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing with Code Academy's JavaScript track. We are in section two of the rock, paper, scissors application that Code Academy wants us to build. And what we basically want to do for number one, both choices are the same. Um we want to compare both of the variables to see whether or not they match up. So if you choose the same choice if you and the computer have the same um, choices then it'll run a certain type of code so on line 12 what we basically want to do is create a variable set it equal to a function choice one three equal signs choice two curly braces And then what you want to do is you want to make another if statement. I mean, you want to make your first if statement. Make sure that you have this set up like so. Equals choice two. Again, I don't know why I keep making mistakes. And this is what happens. I'll explain what happens in just a little bit. Just be patient. Okay, what did I do wrong? <laughs> um, function choice one. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, now be careful. Um, right now they want you to put a semicolon semicolon at right here but in the end it will this semicolon will end up screwing you up in the long run so be careful about that but what basically happens is we created a variable that holds a function inside of it choice one choice two if choice one and choice two are the same return the result is a tie so choice one is you and choice two is the computer I'm thinking for right now um so if you t if both of you have the same options let's say I chose rock the computer chose rock it's a tie that's how the game works submit the code next lesson um for this lesson what if choice one is rock well if choice one is rock then what we basically want to do not under there we basically want to say if choice one equals rock make another if statement Okay, so what happens is if choice one equals rock and if choice two equals scissors, then rock wins. If else, paper wins. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to highly advise that you go back to my tutorial series. This is pretty common now. Um, so, what it is is basically if I choose rock and the computer chooses scissors rock wins because rock smashes scissors but for any reason if the comp if I choose rock and the computer chooses on um, paper paper wins and we submit the code we get the green check we are golden we are golden um, 
And a way to avoid this being a problem, the semicolon, is just to keep writing code over here. Um, the next bit of line that you want to do is, what if choice one is paper? Well, let me tell you what if. If choice one equals paper, Hold on for a second. I think I'm making a mistake somewhere. Now I'm pretty sure I'm making a mistake, but unless I get a... Unless something pops up, I won't really pay much attention to it. Um. Okay, so if choice one is rock and if choice two is scissors, rock wins, else paper wins. If choice one is paper and rock and choice two is rock, paper wins, else is scissors won the code. And for the last bit, what if choice one is scissors? Well, if choice one is scissors, whoops. Um, and for this one, they pretty much want, they want us to remove the comments. So a way to remove comments are just to take those out. So if choice one equals scissors and choice two is rock, rock wins because rock smashes scissors. And if anything else, like let's say if paper was chosen, scissors wins submit the code and we get a pop-up so we get a prompt I guess that's what it's technically called I'm choosing rock oops you did not call the function at the end of your code make sure to call the function um, compare user choice computer make sure to spell it right let's do this submit code rock the result is a tie since we got this um, message that means that the computer chose rock um, with us how did the computer know which one to choose the computer knew which one to choose because we specified um, we imported math.random which basically means 
it's it you won't get a number bigger than one so we we broke it up into three parts point if anything is bigger than 0.34 it's smaller than 0.34 then the rock then the computer will choose rock if anything is smaller than 0.67 then the computer will choose paper if anything is larger than 0.67 then the computer will choose scissors in that situation um so that's how the computer knows which one to choose and the reason why we call this function is so it could like so instead of so it interchanges the pieces so when you choose paper paper wins so I'm guessing that the computer chose rock I have to be careful because this is a tricky um, program to make a lot of people mess up on it a lot of commas are like one one common mistake is a someone puts a puts a semicolon right there when it's not supposed to be they're missing curly braces one of the ways that I can troubleshoot that is you should have an even number you should always have even numbers of curly braces and that's pretty much it um submit the code paper wins I'm guessing that's it but I, I'm not getting the green check mark but this stuff is empty okay so the source of our error is in line 32 if you are following along with us with me um I set up a curly brace but unfortunately for me I didn't put the return inside the curly brace so let me go back and put it in turns out I made a few mistakes I don't know if this is with me or but I do I do know that it's supposed to be somewhat like this I don't know why but I'm just not asking questions let's see if we get the green check mark we do not get the green check mark let's see if we're just missing a curly brace we are not missing a curly brace, that's really surprising. Oh, I think I found it. So, delete this, line 32, there was an extra curly brace. Submit code, it should finally work. Unexpected end to input, where did this happen? I, I'm having way more difficulty doing this than I previously did so I just put I just laid out the code right here for everybody to see I, I don't know what's up with this when I did this um this was before the whole servers crash or whatever the database problem it was it was easy to me but then I went back and I was just confused and now I'm confused again I don't know what I did this was my original work so you guys could just copy that down um yeah just pause the video on what whatever section you need and it will work when I press rock paper wins we get the green check mark we're good to go and basically what this is submit the code by writing it one more time scissors we finally built the project rock paper scissors um add like subscribe this is henry1502 inc i'm out